tried to buy two million shares of Hershey, and they said Scrawly would short it to me. I said, okay, kid, you're about to learn a, a tough lesson. Okay, somebody wanted me to look at Teladoc, and they said, and make it jiffy, stock boy. Who might argue with a customer? We can look at uh, we can look at uh, Intel. Okay, they also wanted me to look at Clover. All right, let's look at Teladoc real quick. What is Dihexa? Never heard of it. I was actually out at court when the NVIDIA quarterly earnings came out. Somebody wants to look at Taiwan Semi. Who's your exit liquidity? Let's go, Wowzers. I like SLS, Jinzo. I like it as a short. Uh, I'm not really sure what you're asking about historical average. I definitely served my time. I don't know when they'll get the decision, Toby. It's it's weird. Like, they should have gotten it by now, right? Okay, so Teldoc is like 2.2 billion enterprise value. Um, the shooting is sad. I mean, what else can one say? It's a murder mystery, and it's very sad, and, you know, um... The fact that some people seem to be celebrating it shows how far society has fallen to some extent. Uh, but I think those people are pretty rare and pretty strange and don't represent the rest of us who know that this guy is, you know, was probably a very good guy. You know, what can you do? Uh, yeah, I don't think open label data is too, too valuable as we learned from Cassava. I don't think serious investors look at open label data. I've seen it all from the FDA. I've seen it all. I don't think there's any money to be made left on Sava. Sava, Sava will probably find a new drug. We've looked at SoundHound a hundred times. It's, it's, look, when you're dealing with these very expensive momentum stocks, like obviously I wish I, wish I was long SoundHound. It did really well. I have looked at uh, Brainstorm, haven't looked at them in a while. I'm not trading SMCI right now, no. I don't think we'll see data this morning. The window is sort of closed at this point for data for today. So after the close, the, the one of the dynamics with SoundHound is that there's very few AI companies that are publicly traded. So like the desire to ape into this theme exists. And so the theme, if you can't ape into anything else, you're going to ape into... the few stocks that are on the menu. If nothing's on the menu, you can't order from the menu. So people say, I want to buy some AI stocks. Well, here's what's on the menu. You got this audio company. Do you want to buy that? Sure. And the reality is there's better audio company, AI companies out there, but they're private. And then you can buy the the cloud guys, but again, those, the Born best ones. Partially filled. The best ones of those are private too. I think the sailors convert capacity is basically close to done. Look, the, the catalyst for microstrategy is Bitcoin going down, which I think could happen. Sailor just doesn't seem like a reliable, sober guy. He just seems like he's drunk on beta and drunk on leverage, which is like just never, ever ends well. So is it too soon to bet on his downfall? I don't know that. But yeah, they have an ATM. That's right. I don't know if he's locked in. It doesn't seem like the guy works. I mean, the, there's nothing for him to work on. It's just pitching and BSing. The Bible tells us we have to toil and sweat. <laughs> you don't toil and sweat. Then what's the point? <laughs> I want my CEOs toiling. Yeah, the only reason to buy MicroStrategy is because it's because it, he he's engineering the stock price rally, whereas Bitcoin, I don't know, for some people they they're not used to trading that, so easier to trade that. A wealth flywheel, yeah, infinite money glitch. The uh, I saw the Jay Z thing. It seems like a ambulance chaser. People will make up all kinds of fantastic stories. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that Rabbi points out that uh, he's lost his majority vote. And it would not be shocking to me if at some point Sailor has to step down or something for MicroStrategy. I mean, the guy's not young either, right? Capitalized software development costs. Ugh, that is so weird. I hate that. Okay, so 100 million in free cash flow, a little more reasonable. 
Yeah, it's really weird to capitalize software development. I mean, that is a really weird thing to do. Just expenses incurred, man. I like Tesla. It's gone up a lot, so I like it a little less, but... Okay, so Teladoc, earnings declining, massive amounts of promotion required. Still, this infrastructure is valuable. 0.72 big stockholder rubric. Who is rubric anyway? A lot of quants in here. No, not that rubric. It's rubric of hedge funds. Uh, Jinzo, there's something called pre-market trading. So I think it starts at 4 a.m. and it goes all the way up to 8 p.m. Yeah, it sounds like trading is just going to be 24-7 at some point soon. I don't know, Kev. There's a lot of randomness in... This is an event nobody can control when the European regulators want to approve or not approve, as it were, the Anavex drug, so we don't know when they will or won't approve it. I don't think they will approve it. Depends on the pre-market moves. Typically, eh, they mean something, but sometimes they mean nothing. Some people don't care about them. It was pretty expensive last I checked. That's that's probably why it kind of has been stagnant, even though they're they're doing very well. Yeah, so Tel Teladoc has kind of been struggling to grow here. Well, Teladoc has not consistently been able to make too much money relative to their market value, but they are profitable. Point that out. And then they have this big cost structure, right? So like. Their net margin is 5%. And anytime I look at a company with a big cost structure like that, I ask myself if the entire cost structure is necessary. And in publicly traded companies, the answer to that is almost always no. So, you know, you can basically think about where in the cost structure is there room for you to remove costs. And we can do that in our models because we know that they may do that in reality. And a model is an attempt to mimic reality, whether it's a scientific model or a financial model. And as we do that, we just try to think about, you know, um, what is reasonable. And in an acquisition, for example, what would an acquirer see as potential cost removal? Or cost rationalization, as some say. Is this one of those kinds of companies that doesn't put out a press release? Yeah, ignore those lawsuits things. Those are always a little suspect. The coin's going up a little. You like that insider info? Yeah. You like jail? I know enough to not look for insider information. Why are you writing SLS? Do you want me to ban you? Ban your spamming? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I thought this was the data. I thought this was the data we were waiting for. This is not the data we were waiting for. This is just fake data. I know, I know, I know. It's not it. It's not it. Good call, though. Good call, though. Good looking out. That's a good soldier. This is definitely not the data. It seems like they're really delaying the data. <laughs> they don't want to, uh, they don't want to put out their main data. This is their other drug. May or may not be a tell. Probably not, but they're really focused on this other drug. Trying to bait and switch, you know? Okay, so they have BetterHelp and Teladoc. So BetterHelp is dropping pretty rapidly. Are they only giving Outlook for one segment? That's bizarre. They don't give an Outlook for BetterHelp? That is bizarre. It's a valuable asset. Any way to get growth, any way to slim down the cost structure. I don't know if and when they're going to turn the corner, but... Sometimes you want it like opportunistic long, like they're trading at like arguably a few times cash flow if they fix their cost structure a little, which is like very doable. So there's a lot of leverage in their business model. I don't know about prenuptials and stuff like that. I'm not a, it's not my area of expertise. I'm probably a sucker when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't think I'm going to get one. My girl's very successful. She doesn't, I don't see her being vindictive and coming after me for my money. She's already got hers, you know. It's one thing if the woman doesn't have any money, and you could easily see them. And they have a they have a case to make, which is, you know, pretty reasonable. Marriage is an institution that largely protects women, but there are women that not, don't necessarily need quote unquote protecting. So I did Felipe, I looked at it a long time ago. I know every biotech stock. Like <laughs> 
one of my one of my executives went to AVXL after I left the company. He he went to AVXL. Well, he was kind of they, they restructured the company, so a lot of my guys went to different companies, and one of them went to AVXL. I don't know if he's still there or not. So, I mean, I I have a long history in the space. Yeah, I never quite believed in the whole Sigma receptor thing. No, guys that worked for me at my biotech. Uh, I don't know how much this receptor really does. I've never shorted Palantir. Why do people come in this chat and say stuff like that? Still shorting Palantir? What are you talking about? When did we short Palantir? Chat, do you remember this? Anybody remember that? Temporal intrinsics. This is interesting. To ensure the temporal consistency of object intr intrinsics, we propose neural templates for temporal state-guided distillation derived automatically from image features for self-supervised learning. The method can generate high quality temporal object intrinsics for several natural phenomena. People who are blind perceive the world differently. For instance, when crossing at an intersection, blind individuals may have different patterns of movement, such as veering more from a straight path, using touch-based exploration. We introduce blind ways, the first multimodal motion benchmark for pedestrians who are blind. Wow, it's a lot of work. Yeah, you might be right on that one, Arnab. Shorting quantum computing could be could be interesting. Mm, Adam, I don't think it's good for a newbie to do. Sparse autoencoders reveal selective remapping of visual concepts during adaptation. New sparse autoencoder for the clip vision transformer named Patch SAE to extract interpretable concepts at granular levels and their patchwise spatial attributions. Explore how these concepts influence the model and downstream image classification tasks. It's kind of interesting. There's a lot of papers on archive these days. Motion flow, attention-driven motion transfer in video diffusion models. Text-to-video models have impressive capability. We might get a new uh, video model today. Yeah, I'm with you, Georges. I closed them too. Uh, I do want to look at C4. We introduced motion flow, a novel framework designed for motion transfer in video diffusion models. The struggle with comprehensive scene changes while maintaining consistent motion. That is true. Just not something I'm that interested in right now. SimC 3D, a simple contrastive 3D pre-training framework using RGB images. Nicotine does not cause cancer. The 3D contrastive learning paradigm has demonstrated remarkable performance in downstream tasks through pre-training on point cloud data. Recent advances involve 2D image priors, 3D point clouds, Okay, we propose a simple but effective contrastive learning framework. Pre-training 3D backbones from pure RGB data. I'm just gonna do 10 of these. Harsh? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not restricted from trading. Thank you for your question. Chimera, accurate retrosynthesis prediction by ensemble models. Ooh, now we're talking. This is more my speed. Look at that later. Cool, all right. Get a little AI work in. Land bridge. What is land bridge? LB, land bridge. Permian Basin. Yeah, Ion Q could be a short. I like Baba. Southern Delaware Basin. 46,000 contiguous surface acres known as the Wolfbone Ranch for 245 million. People want me to look at oil and gas. I think Ryan Cohen's pretty good. Uh, well, the GameStop operating business is not very good. Not much you could do about that. I don't know if it's going to go bankrupt. The operating business, maybe, but he can acquire other businesses, theoretically. No, they don't have any earnings. Uh, well, he'd have to disclose that, I think, Mumu. Yeah, I do think it's probably a waste of time. That's probably right. But he does seem like a very good manager. We'll look at Ubisoft. Ooh, 3x nav. I like that kind of thing. Omar, thanks for pointing that out. I got so many ideas to look at. I don't have the time. Okay, I'll look at land bridge at some point. You know, you know, when I look at energy like um, Exxon Mobil, well, it's up a hundred percent from twenty. When I go, when I look at Exxon Mobil, I feel like a guitarist playing drums. I can do this, but I, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> it's like, don't really know how to do it. Crocs has uh, Sydney Sweeney on board. Let's go. I'd be long Crocs. <laughs> Wow, is Palantir up again? We gotta look, we gotta, let's go Palantir, man. Oh yeah, we gotta look at farming too. Wow, what a market cap, 190 billion. I mean, Palantir grew as I expected. They didn't exactly beat my numbers. Oh, I see, this is cute. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This makes more sense. I put it in the wrong uh, column here. So this makes way more sense. Now let's look at the press release for Q3. That was not the press release for Q3. That was the NASDAQ listening thingy. So I take it back. They did beat my number. And here, what'd they do? Six, 725. Okay. So they beat, they definitely beat my number there as well. Revenue accelerating. And then they're, I had 730 and they're saying they're going to do 770 and they'll probably beat that and do like 790. Very few people, almost nobody's who's an investor is interacting with their products. They don't have that many customers. Average Palantir customers spending like 5 million bucks in their product. I'd be surprised if anyone, a big data product. I mean, you got to work in government to use it or a big corporation. It's a unique company. That's for sure. DJT back to 35. You know, I like to put that one out. AKA short it. I mean, let's see. You know, you need some longs to offset shorts, right? JP Morgan conference is not on Anavex. <laughs> it's an annual conference that's Order been going partially on filled. for 20 years. I think, you know, government and banking go hand in hand. It's very hard for them to be independent. Yeah, I should do some risk management sessions for myself, let alone retail. I, was, I remember I had a bodyguard, but I had this bodyguard, Big Tony. Some of you guys met Tony a long time ago. He was on the stream once or twice. And uh, Big Tone, he would sit and eat with us. And I was like talking about like all the guys who went to jail for insider trading and all this stuff. And he was brand new and he goes, this Wall Street gangster. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, so and so is doing five years. This guy just got eleven years. You know, the SEC case and all that. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> he was like, I thought I left the hood. <laughs> this guy's talking about doing time, and this guy's getting a lawyer. He's got a post bond galleon. I'm still in the game. Yeah, micro strategy's got to just be an enormous short man. All right, well we're short DJT. We're short micro strategy. We're short basically everything on the bottom of the screen right here. Chegg, I think, is, you know, had a good run, but the risk and reward are kind of pretty balanced here. So you look at the Humasite calls against the stock. There's no Humasite news as far as Wonderful. I know, but... We're talking about stop losses? I'm supposed to be the franchise trader, and you're talking about stop losses. And we just say, are you long? You skip the on. We don't say, are you long on? We just say, are you long DJT? Are you short SLS? On is not the way we talk. That's not the lingo. We teach you the lingo. It gets you ready for Wall Street. You, know, you gotta come correct. Proper brava stuff. You're long ham and cheese, let's go. Very bullish. Yes, the long disposition. You Citadel, Citadel's back in Chicago? I thought they moved because of O block. Okay, how do I get short DJT in size? Maybe we could buy the 38 calls as a hedge, guaranteeing the stock goes to 38. Order filled. You need a uh, liquidity pool to make money on tokens. So just because it's a billion market cap token doesn't mean anything. That's like nothing. And I kind of want to go long Palantir just for the lulls. Okay, maybe that chart doesn't look that great. Okay, let's see. We got weeklies on on Palantir. Zero day TE. No, I can't do that. I make right click. Order partially filled. I make money. I make wrong click. Order I lose filled. money. Very simple. Today I'm going to show you how to shoot big gun. Wow, this gun big. Okay, gun make big boom. Wow, gun make real big boom. But you guys never double down. Okay, I want you to make money. You save money and, and don't, don't ever double down. Yeah, Palantir, see, it went up a lot. So I started buying, then it went down a lot. And um, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. so your mama's going to pay for the wedding, right? I was thinking of something small, <laughs> real small. You know what I mean? <laughs> like real, real small. I <laughs> failed. As a wedding gift, I'm going to give you these expired pound to your calls I bought. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs>
<laughs> the right to buy Palance here at a price that's higher than market value. Yeah, it looks like risk is being sold, which is what we like to see. Shorting DJT here, partially back for more, back again. They're pretty, they're pretty similar. One has, they both have a lot of momentum, but one has better fundamentals. So that's a good, really good hedge. Long Palantir, short DJT. If Palantir drops 2%, DJT should drop 10%. Since we got the request, let's look at uh, Walgreens. Uh, Teladoc is a buy, yeah. This is this is the uh, the best ever. We should just watch this video over and over again. Big data, machine learning, blockchain, artificial intelligence, digital manufacturing, big data analysis, quantum communication, and Internet of Things. Ke R and D ko badha. It's uh, I finally got to a price where I just wanted to buy it. I love the product. Who doesn't like chocolate? <laughs> I said to my trader, my trader's 93 years old as well. And I said, go buy 2 million shares of Hershey's, okay? He said, oh, okay. We played bridge later. <laughs> he said, Warren, you're not gonna believe this. I tried to buy 2 million shares of Hershey and they said, Screlly would short it to me. I said, okay, kid, you're about to learn a, a tough lesson. You need multiple brokers, my son. Multiple brokers. Keep cash money at all of them. Autofill. It's also good in case one of them fails, which has been known to happen. Or one of them has technical Order issues. Order partially filled. Which has also been Order filled. known to happen. Protect your neck at all times, the Wu-Tang Clan once said. She wanted Order the guy filled. that does 85 kinds of flowers. Now we gotta go with the guy that does three. Three flowers? Well, because of you, Alex Carp. It's all your fault. <laughs> it's not me. Buying a growth stock at the very top, putting the top in. No, it's not my fault. Order filled. What was the other fake thing the AMC guys were talking about? Synthetic shares. What else? File on the synthetics. Then they had a couple of other crazy things. I had a lawsuit with Walgreens. They kept some of our revenue. They were, I think they were our distributor or something. They kept some of our dare product. We were like, what are you doing? They're like, yeah, we're keeping this. It was the weirdest thing, man. Couldn't have happened to a better company. Yeah, it was weird. I, I don't remember the exact back and forth, but it was like, they really had no business. They're your partner. They're supposed to take product and pay you. But in this case, it was like, it's really bizarre. I forget what, what nonsense excuse they had for keeping our money. They take your product, they're supposed to sell it and pay you. They're like, nah, I think I'd rather keep it. <laughs> Order filled. And they got a judge in uh, in Illinois. So it was like, Illinois is owned and paid for by Walgreens because it's their headquarters. Yeah, it took our lunch money, exactly. It's crazy, man. Business and litigation, sometimes you just throw your hands order, up and sort it. It's, it's, it's part of the game. You know, you haven't been sued yet in your life. You're probably order partially not going filled. ham enough. Order filled. Buffett would say you never want to be sued ever, but the reality is these, order filled. People are nuts. People are absolutely crazy. Make the dumbest claims ever in litigation, and the judge is listening like, hmm, yes, <laughs> your honor, they're lying. It's like, maybe you're lying. I'm like, ah, you got to be kidding me. The Walgreens is worth $8 billion. That's it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> the whole hood just took all the Walgreens money. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. The hood made a withdrawal. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so what happened, honey, uh, was I was making investments. And I looked up the best investment is the AI investment called Palantir. I put all the money in the Palantir. And the Palantir went down. So the Palantir, we lost all the money from the Palantir. I thought we was going to make a lot of money, though. The Palantir. Springer made a new video. He just didn't list it publicly. Every video he puts out from here on out for the rest of his life, which should be like, just like Sava, right? Just like Sava, right? I love that. I love that after the investment, he was like, I quit biotech. That's the reaction. It's not like biotech failed me. I didn't fail biotech. It's all biotech's fault. I'm not meant for biotech. No, you're not meant for critical thinking. <laughs> Placebo group messed up. It's, it's, yeah, to stick to an investment sector that does not require lots of thinking. And if you're dead wrong, you still don't lose money. There are not many of those, but you got to find the one like that because 
obviously when you start thinking it's very dangerous situation you're very hazardous to 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 one's health oh man so walgreens pays taxes even when they lose money that's that uh chicago style taxation how sway how you don't got the answer sway just don't spend the money save it Houseway. <laughs> no, you can lose a lot of money in semiconductors. All right. So what's going on with Walgreens? They they were profitable in 2022. So they made 2.2 billion dollars. Okay. In the last two years, they've been kind of break even. So how are they going to return to profitability? If they can return to profitability. Okay. So before. They were making like four billion in free cash flow, which would have been three times. So they're trading like three times old earnings. Will they ever get back to their old selves? People need to fill prescriptions one way or another. Well, leases come out of the income statement. Debt does not. A lease is just a guaranteed expense. It's not a. You're not borrowing for an interest rate or anything like that. Yeah, I like it. I like it. This is my kind of stock. They've actually lost money the last two quarters. Last two years, excuse me. Bitcoin's going to go back and forth. It's very volatile. You know, two percent up and down for Bitcoin is nothing. Yeah, low margins. Okay, so we'll we'll get more into Walgreens and CVS over time. But I really like this idea of being long pharmacies at max capitulation. It's kind of what this feels like.